Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome to Alpha Beta Omega, a series where I dedicate one video to showing off a game that is yet to come out, is new, or has stayed afloat on the sea of popularity long enough to become a classic. And today I'm jumping into the long-awaited League of Legends. I talked about this game all the way back in Okami? Around the 25th episode? And I've played it a lot. I've played it almost, well I don't want to say non-stop, but I've played it consistently since then, for about two years now. Three seasons of League of Legends. Almost four. And it's taken me this long. So before we jump into a game, well first of all I'm going to gush over how good this new client w looks, and it works pretty well, but also I'm going to give a brief overview of what I do in League of Legends. I am a support and jungle main. Mainly jungle, but I mean, support's kind of my secondary. And with some sprinklings of mid thrown in there. I normally play Skarner of all champions, because when I first started playing the game, I looked at the champions that were on free week, and I saw Skarner, and I was like, wait a minute, I have an ultimate that impales someone and allows me to pull them around? That's awesome! So I started playing him, and I didn't stop. I played him for a solid six months before I decided to poke my head out of the jungle and play other roles. I also, as you can see here, I play Rek'Sai. I saw her b announcement and I really liked the concept of her, plus she was originally going to be an experimental rework for Skarner, so it's basically like I played Skarner twice. And then of course there's Karma in the support role. So I just wanted to give a brief overview of what I play before we jump into a game. I will be trying my best to explain uh, explain how to play League of Legends, but mainly just like with the Overwatch video, I don't know what you guys know, and so I will be leaving it up to you to ask questions in the comments section in order for me to find out what you know, and what you don't, and what you're asking about. There we go. I decided to cut out the wait time because otherwise I would just be stammering and possibly making it so I'd have to re-record this part of the video. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm not playing a game. There we go! What'd I get? Please not mid. Yes! Not mid, although I'm first pick. But that's fine because I want to play Skarner. So in this part of the champion or of the start of a game, uh, you go through picks and bans, where you declare your the champion you want to play, and then you get to ban three champions that you don't want to see, and they will not appear. Once again, I, I don't know how much you know, so I'm just going to talk about what I know. Oh, let's see, since I'm playing Skarner, they're not going to be banning Skarner either. What am- ooh. Glad I didn't go with this rune page. I remember I was playing Warwick the other day. Uh, it's not really worth it to take points into cunning I anymore. Because they changed, they changed the jungle, so this buff isn't really required on junglers anymore. Because there are no smite buffs. Um, that's that's good. I, I'm fine with that. Attack speed will help me in the jungle, although I'll have a ton of it. Maybe a sorcery is something I might want to take. That's fine. I don't really need. Actually, I'm hybrid. That wouldn't be bad. You know what? Sure. Let's let's take that. Let's let's go with the natural talent. I never take this mastery on anyone. But let's try it now. Battle trance. That's I mean, I'd kind of be dumb not to take that. Yeah, I'll take battle trance. And these are fine. Okay. This is kind of interesting because since they changed the jungle, I haven't really taken a hard look at my my jungle masteries to say, "Hey, this isn't needed anymore." Or also, this My is... I, I took that on Skarner pretty much all the time, because I have natural regen from this. Or from my, my passive, I mean. So, I mean, the movement speed is nice. Oh, I should probably lock in. Oh, that could have been bad. Lock in. There we go. I mean, that's nice. That's probably the thing I'll miss the most. But I'm also Skarner. I have... I already have out-of-combat movement speed with my shrine, so... Yeah... I think this tree's just better. Okay. I, I think I'll be content, I'll stop waffling, and then I'll start talking about Skarner's abilities, because I should explain that before I get in-game, because once I get in-game, I'll pull an Overwatch video, 
start explaining what my champion or hero does, and then just trail off as I start focusing on the game again. I did that with Ana last week with the ABO for Overwatch, and I don't want to do it for Skarner because he's such an interesting champion. So his passive is a, an ability that puts a bunch of random spires all over the map. I mean, they're in set locations, they're not random, but they're there. You can stand on the middle of them to capture them for your team. It gives you a tiny bit of gold, but more importantly, it unlocks a buff in a wide range for Skarner while he's near that shrine. It gives him a lot of movement speed, a ton of attack speed, and mana regen, which is pretty great. It means you don't fight Skarner in his shrine unless you are ridiculously fed or... I was going to say Udyr, but even then, maybe Jax? Then there is his Q, which does damage in an area of effect. They have a pretty good comp. Uh, and I'm the only... Oh, no, 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 never mind. We have Poppy. Uh, and let's go with uh, Battlecast Alpha Skarner for this game. I have all of his skins, so whatever. His Q is an AoE ability, which just does damage in an area of, of effect around him. Its cooldown is reduced by auto attacks against anything, pretty much, except structures. Although... The cooldown that you get from auto-attacking things is quadrupled versus champions, so it lowers it by one full second every time you hit a champion. Also, in case you just want to get into the meat of the game and you know what you know what I'm talking about, you know what Skarner's abilities do, then just go ahead and do so now. I'll probably put a time on screen or a time stamp on screen, and you can do that. Um, now, when you queue someone with Skarner, the next time you queue, you get a charge of essentially like energy, and the next time you queue, it will deal essentially double damage, which is pretty nice. We have a, we have, is that a platinum? Yeah, that's we have two platinums on our team. That's nice. And then let's see, there's his W, which gives him a shield scaling off of his his HP pool, and it gives him a movement speed boost, increasing over the next three seconds, which is pretty great. Then there's his E, which most of his kit and most of his power is inside of his E ability, which is Fracture. It throws out a line projectile, a pass-through line projectile, that slows enemies and applies a mark to them for a certain amount of time. If you auto-attack that mark, it will give you your Shrine buff for one second, but it will also stun them for one second, which I probably should have said that around, where it stuns them for one second and gives you your shrine buff for that time, but whatever. And it, so it's giving you attack speed, and it can mark multiple units. So you use it to clear waves, you use it to clear the jungle, but also it's amazingly powerful in team fights and in ganking. However, most of your power is in this one ability, so you want to be very skilled at landing that one ability, because if you don't, you are going to be crippled as a champion. Then there's his ultimate, which I mentioned earlier. Also, we have a Diamond Yasuo, which is great. And I'm actually kind of quivering. I'm nervous for this. His ultimate is a single target ability that will impale a target champion and allow you to drag them around for a certain amount of time. Now, you actually get your shrine buff while this happens. So you get attack speed, though you can't actually auto attack while impaling them. But you're getting movement speed, which is very important. It allows you to pull them quite far. Now, might I mention that E, Fracture, has a little bit more power to it than I originally mentioned, because I was saving it for after I talked about the ult. When you, when you auto someone who, ha who is marked with Fracture, it not only is it one second stun, it gives you your shrine buffs for one second, but it also reduces the cooldown of Fracture by one second. Similarly, when you ult someone, you ult them for a total of 2 seconds, but 0.25 of those seconds is a root. But when they're suppressed, you, uh, you reduce the cooldown of Fracture by 1.75 seconds. Uh, let's see, um, no, I want to start with Machete. Machete, and this, and that. And I'm starting red. So, uh, there's an obvious combo that you can see where you E someone, or you just use these two abilities, you E someone, you ult them before autoing, so it's lowering the cooldown of this, and then as soon as they come out of ult, then you auto them, and now E is up again, so you stun them. I believe it is a, it's, let's see, it's four? Yeah, it's four seconds? 
Yeah, it's four seconds of solid hard CC. Okay, let me pay attention to what my team is is talking about here. Uh, did they say the enemy team was a pre-made? Good luck, have fun. Team to five. Yep, team of off-meta champions. Five pre-made. Uh, some synities there. It's okay, they have Aatrox, GG Easy. Okay, well, it looks like they're all pre-mades. That's, oh yeah, because they have the same club name. Okay, well, this will be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Here's my shrine here. I have to thank Ryan for buying this skin for me. Alright, what language is he speaking? I can't, I mean, I obviously that's English, but... He has, he has a, a textual accent, which I'm trying to figure out here. What is that? That's not Spanish, is it? No. I don't think that's Spanish. I, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't really matter. Let's not let that distract us. Let's po let Poppy take a couple of autos here. You can leave now. Smite ki for the kill and move on. Okay, uh, let's see. What do I want to gank first? Whoa, my auto attack wouldn't go off. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a bug right now with with Skarner where sometimes your auto attacks just won't go off. It's it's a very new bug. Wait, what? Okay, that was just me misclicking, but it's a very new bug and just sometimes you click on something and Skarner will stand there and look at you like, do you want me to do something about this? I'm like, yeah. He says no. Okay, uh, it, uh Aurelian Soul would be a good gank. That would be an okay gank. That's a bad gank. Ooh, but he's so low. That's a... Top lane might be a good gank, although I've already pathed my way down here, so I don't really want to... You know, I don't want to make the trek all back up there because that's wasting time. I'm kiting very badly. But that's also because I'm talking, so... And I'm, I'm actually literally shaking because I've been so nervous. I've recorded League so many times before, and the recording just failed, whether it's the recording actually failing or it's me not being satisfied with it. I have recorded it so many times, and I'm just nervous. Because I don't want to perform badly. This is a game I do care about. Okay, so let's just kill Gromp here. Get blue buff. Uh, I, normally, I would give blue buff over to someone, because I pretty much have a permanent blue buff in my shrines. You can't really see it now. I think that was the glitch right there. Um, but I, I have a permanent blue buff in my shrines. You can't really see it here because my base mana isn't quite enough to self-sustain me entirely. But once I get a one or two levels on me, then I have so much regen. Okay, it doesn't look like I'll, I'll actually be able to gank here, so I'm just going to kill Scuttle. Very good. I might gank mid, but he's he's full health. I can't. Oh 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 oh! Is he dead? Is he dead? Coming in. Let's... Oh! He's not dead, but I got a flash. I got a flash. That's fine. That's definitely worth it. Uh, if I'd been able, been able to auto him, that would have been the stun for a kill. But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. I, I'm still going to gank after I back. Uh, let's pressure mid. Not try to kill mid, because I don't think I honestly can. Oh, he's playing safe. Wow. Okay, this Aurelian knows his business. He's... I didn't pay attention. Oh wait, no, it doesn't show ELO and load in. So, I don't know what his ELO is, but he's he's playing it safe. He knows. He knows who I am. Okay, let's get Stalker's Blade, this, that, and walk back to top lane. I was going to gank top, but honestly, what I want to do right now is let them push out their lane. Bot, I mean. Let him, them push out their lane. And then gank again while his flash is down. Because this lane's doing fairly well. Okay, let's throw this in there. I'm getting a, a little bit of lag. And by a little bit, I mean an intolerable amount. So right now I'm outside of my shrine, so I have to rely on E to clear. Um, now, wow, what is this ping? I think it's actually more packet loss than ping. Now, the abilities I max, because you can see, obviously, I'm maxing abilities here whenever I level up. I I max pretty much what most people max on Skarner, with one exception. I'm a little bit weird. Um, packet loss? There we go. My goodness. 
I, I am a little bit weird with my Skarner because I've played hundreds if not thousands of games on this champion. I, I've i tried every build from a ability power to crit, so I I know pretty much what I'm doing. I'm not super high elo, but I'm also, you know, I have a ton of experience on Skarner. So when I play Skarner, I max E first, okay? Wow, good job, Poppy. Um, I max E first on Skarner. That's a given. It gives me clear speed, just like Q would be giving me, but it also is giving me... Let's kill these juicy fruits here. It's also giving me ganking power uh, and, and peel. So it does everything. Um, so many people fall into the trap of saying, oh, it's a Q ability. It should be max first. No, that's wrong. Because you... Okay, Q does not have base damage. It has damage scaling directly off of your, your ratios, your AD and your AP. And that's it. It has no base damage. So why would you be maxing it early game when you have none of those those ratios to abuse? I only have 75 AD here. It's not going to be doing a, a ton. Whereas E actually has pretty good base damage. I mean, it has a very, very tiny ratio. But it's still base damage. So it's just better pretty much in every way. What on earth? Why was... What on earth? Okay. Well, I guess I'm being carried this game. So E is to be maxed first always. And then Q is to be maxed second. However, there is a problem with maxing Q second. Um, there we go. If you max Q second, like directly, you are actually missing out on a very important buff. Oh my goodness, what is this? Wait, what? what? I saw my E there. You're missing out on a very important buff, because when you immediately hit W, you get 0% movement speed, and then it builds up... I'm gonna circle around here. It builds up to a full... Um, a full 16% across the duration. Okay, just one second, let me... Mm, do they know? Yeah, they... I think they... somehow. Yeah, that's not a good gank. They're, they're letting themselves be pushed. Um, in fact, actually... I'm so low, like, low-leveled. I have nothing to farm. So Soraka could do something here. Okay, so what I was saying. Um, what I like to do is before max and Q, after um, E is maxed, I put two additional points into W, because if you look at what it gives... Okay, just a second. Uh, 480 to smite. 480 to smite. 480 to smite, okay. If you look at what... W gives you per per rank. It gives you um, a lower cooldown, so you can shield yourself more. Oh wait, so you can shield yourself more. It gives you a better shield, and it makes you faster. Okay, there we go. Wait, what? Okay, well, whatever. Are you ready for this? Gra grab him! Grab him! Grab him! Grab him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him. I missed. Oh no, did I? Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Wait. Mm, uh, mm. I, uh, hippie guy. I, I'm dead. Am I dead? Rock is doing th some things. No, we... No, he's dead. Oh, if I had autoed him. Nice. Okay. I mean, that was a one for one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I love that commentary there. I just start singing Farajaka at some point there. <laughs> Come on. Be content. Be content. So yeah, back to what I was saying before all of that. I get additional shield, I get additional movement speed per rank, but also by that point, I have the stats to start abusing Q, and my damage starts falling off, but I'm also getting Sheen, so my damage is... Scratch that last comment. My damage is starting to peak out, so this actually does more. So yeah, I put two more points into into my my W and then max Q. I've once again I've tried this over probably thousands of games, so I'm I'm not gonna say this is the way, but it's an amazing way. Okay, so at least for solo Q. For solo Q and this ELO, it is a good way of doing things. Maybe some of my viewers are higher ELO than me. In fact I know some of them are, but that is is the way I've found to do it. And I I regularly play with diamonds and plats, despite it being silver, so there's that. Okay, now to actually talk about this game. I feel like I've been gushing over my love. My first and only love, Skarner. That's not true. Um, 
this entire game. So let's just start talking about the game. So Poppy's been pushing fairly hard. My red buff was stolen, and Aatrox is there. Um, so my red buff is stolen. Poppy's fed, and honestly, I don't even care that I lost red buff. You know why? Because Poppy was able to push so hard off of that. And will she live? Oh yeah, she'll live. In fact, she may even get a kill. I don't know where Aatrox is. He's probably just... <laughs> oh my goodness, this Poppy. He's probably was too low... No, he was fine. Okay. I should probably back as well. Run towards me and I will always love you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, why is my red buff still up? I, I, I saw it. Did he not take it? Fatality. Was I just blind and not watching the timer? What? It's down, game. There we go. That was weird. <laughs> but that was also a, a very silly gank. He almost hit him. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? Um, skirmishers into tier two boots into uh, bomby cinder into that. There we go. <laughs> that, that gank was. Oh wait, no! Oh, I'm dumb. Oh my goodness, why did I buy that? Can I sell it? Oh, I'm dumb. I was concentrating. Uh, oh, wait. It only costs this much to switch. Okay. They made that change. <laughs> Sorry. I've been playing a lot of Warwick recently. Because whenever I play with friends or in preseason, I play Warwick. Because he's easy. And honestly, really brain dead. And so it's fun. And I, I accidentally made that mistake. Thankfully, Rito knew my plight. Okay, so... Let's kill him. So as for my build, I go for Stalker's Blade. Once again, I'm explaining how to play the game in the ABO, but I won't actually do this all the time when I'm playing in the series. So I bought Stalker's Blade. It allows me to smite people and get a speed boost. Hello. And I will always love you. Okay. Let's smite him first, or her. Oh, snap. Let's... Thank you! This one's mine. Wait, what? Oh, there was the glitch, I think. I think I... My auto didn't work. Oh, boy. I'm so dead. No, never mind. Soraka's a beast. Let's pop my potions. I should have done that earlier. Why didn't I do that first? Well, okay. Cool. I mean, I'm content with that. Um, yeah. I, I think I've been, I've been playing kind of badly this game, but I'm getting away with it somehow. Uh, so... What was I saying? Oh yeah, it gives it allows me to smite people, and it gives me a movement speed boost, which is really great because then I can smite them right before ulting, and I can I can ult them further, which is great. But I can also smite them, and it sets up for my my E to be hit fracture. So it's it's kind of um a cheap gimmick to ensure that I hit fracture. Okay, I, I I'm kind of in explaining mode, and I, that really shouldn't be. Uh, it's in 10 seconds. Yeah, we can stay for this. Let's drop a control ward here. Buddy. Okay. I mean, I can take Dragon alone. It's not like... Yeah, let's... Uh, yeah. I probably should have headed there earlier. Run. 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 Oh, wait. Flash. Got him. Let's avoid the clap traps. I got an assist. I mean, I didn't really do anything there. But once again, I'm being I'm kind of being carried this game, which is fine because I'm explaining how to do things. Oh man, that's really ham. I probably shouldn't be here. Yeah, not I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, we can back off and take dragon. And also, I can use this as a ward. There we go. So I can use that as a ward because then um, if they try to go through here, they'll probably take the shrine, which is really nice. Okay, pop the shield. Man, this Twitch is fed. I could not have asked for a better team. I really couldn't have. In a game where I want to explain how to play the game, I don't have Smite. Um, this is the perfect team to have. You guys are the best. Come on. Okay, there we go. 
Alright, so now what I want to do is buy Sheen. So, one thing about Skarner is that he has one of the highest base AD stats in the game. As in, he doesn't need to really to buy AD. So there's an item that looks at Skarner and is like, I love you. Oh man, I, I actually am almost 007. It, it looks at my base stats and it says, you know bro, I love you. I love you a lot. Let's be friends. And whenever I use an ability, aka Q, because I mash Q all game, then um, it allows my next auto attack to deal damage, scaling off my base AD. So in other words, whenever I use Q, I did get a lot of damage in. It's really great. So, once I get Cinder Hulk here, 525, I can afford Sheen right now. Then I can get Sheen. And you pretty much always want to get Sheen on Skarner. Like, there's hardly any scenario where you don't. Just because it's so abusable and it's so good. Like, they they made... What is this lag? Uh, they made Skarner with Sheen in mind. So, there's that. Hey, hello, Red Buff. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not kiting anymore, it's because I have enough damage to not take damage, or I have enough tankiness to not take damage from the jungle. And also, my attack speed is so high, because it scales per level, that I get 94% attack speed while in my shrines. And so, kiting actually reduces my overall damage. Now, for this camp, I will make an exception, because they deal a lot of damage. Okay, come on, kill these. My team is really carrying me hard. And honestly, I, I should be near them. I should not be farming at this point. But, uh, the... I, I like to farm, which is actually a terrible thing to say. Because as a jungler, if I'm not a farming jungler, I should be ganking here. I should be having an impact on the game. But I'm also explaining how to play the game, so it, I'm justified. Um, let's take this real quick. I, I really should be backing here, but I have so much power. No, 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 no. And, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's take this. There we go. Thanks for carrying me, friends. There we go. So I don't even need to explain strategy in this game because, uh, my team is kind of just auto-winning here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to get Triforce this game, but not before I get Dead Man Blade. There we go. And upgrade to sweeper. There we go. Man, what is this team? Did they give up? I think they gave up. Which, I mean, if they did, cool, but uh, I guess I'd rather have a good fight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they gave up. Man, I was expecting a lot more challenge out of a, uh, a, a pentacue. Ooh, 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 ooh. Surprise! I'm black. That's not racist. It, I mean, I'm Skarner. I'm kind of black. Hey, I got my first kill. I can't be 007 anymore. Okay, speed up, speed up. You ready? Flash, no need to E first. That was perfect. Let's, no, no, no. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. No. Okay. Hey! I'm really deep in their base! Oh! No! 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 I have a life! I have a life! Do not take it away! Never mind! Oh, 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 oh! KS! Oh. I got an assist, though. Um. He can't really do anything. He's underfed, and he has no items. <laughs> that was actually my fault. <laughs> I stood in front of it, which meant it went... It did the AoE. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. Okay, let's drop it there. This is really gutsy of me, but I'm Skarner. So I don't really care. Because I'm Skarner. Now let's start maxing Q. And actually, this this natural talent master. Why must you always do this to me? <laughs> oh boy, not my first death! Not my first death! Oh boy, oh boy. Mm. Ah! 
Ah, uh, the noises actually help, by the way. Um, I'm not sure if I if you knew that. Oh, oh, oh! Next level. Wow, that was beautiful. Okay. Uh, I'm getting Dead Man's Plate. Really, movement speed is just a really good stat on Skarner because you know the faster you move, the faster you're pulling people. In fact, for the lulls, I do. I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. I'm almost there. No. Wait, what? Penta? Almost Penta. I I wasn't watching that. I was too self-absorbed. I am a. I am sorry, Yasuo. I didn't get that on recording. And they resurrendered. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if there was ever a game to have where I had to explain how to play League of Legends, this was it. But I am a little bit sorry for you guys because you didn't get to see all of the sick plays that Skarner can do. I mean, you saw a couple. But my goodness, I was carried that game. I was carried super hard. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. <laughs> still kind of incredulous that I went autopilot this game and still won? But, I mean, okay. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the main series for of League and Overwatch, I guess. So, I'll see you then? I guess? Maybe? Hopefully we won't have as easy games like that. That was weird. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Sky, 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 error, rebooting system.